Right, we're here at the Hampshire and Isle of Wight Air Ambulance Stand and with me today I have Peter Stagg who is the head keeper of the Beaulieu Estate, Rosemary Norman who's a community fundraiser and also Lynn Dadley who's a community fundraiser for the Hampshire and Isle of Wight Air Ambulance. Now we've just seen a cheque being presented. Peter, what was that all about? Uh, the cheque, the money was raised um, by like-minded, by, by people who, who shoot and make their living in the countryside because we're well aware of the good service that the um, air ambulance gives and also the fact that working where we work in isolated places it may be the difference between life and death for either myself or one of my colleagues or a client of ours. Um, we've, I've actually done this for the past three years, it's a very worthy cause and hope that I can continue to do so for a long time into the future. And how much was it that you donated? About a thousand pounds. That's fantastic. Rosemary, tell me a bit about the, uh, the ambulances itself and the services you provide. Yeah. Well, the first thing is that people don't realise that all air ambulances in England and Wales are 100% charity. We do get uh, funding for the paramedics, but everything else is up to the public um, to help us out. And without their help, uh, we can fly and help out people like uh, Peter here, etc. Um, we've had quite a few people here actually at New Forest come up and see us. Either their families use the helicopter or, or they're themselves. Uh, we go out to many jobs. We've just done under 1,700 missions in two days and going anything from two to six times following the emergency services calls. And uh, from anything from schools to road accidents, people going out horse riding many things. We'll take them to the most appropriate hospital for their needs and that's the crucial thing. Bypassing the road accident, road closures, diversions and getting them as speedy for a better recovery. Lynn, how much does it cost to actually keep the ambulance in the air for a year? Well, um, we tend to work it down to a monthly uh, working and it's £92,000 every month that it costs. It costs over £750 to fill her tank with fuel, so it is quite an expensive operation. So certainly the cheque from Beaulieu Estate was helpful, but there's more funds needed to be raised. What other activities do you do to raise funds? Well, we do have the recycling as well, which is a great way for people to help without having to put their hand in the pocket. We get an average of £5,000 a week uh, by people putting stuff into our yellow textile bags. We're all over Hampshire and Isle of Wight. We have over 300 of them around the place. And uh, at the present time, we're getting a bit more money per tonnage on bras, which is making everyone smile. Uh, about 90 pence a bra. Now, most of this is reused, sold on, so, but don't worry what you put on there because we'll make use of it. If we can't sell it on, we recycle it, making a small margin going into the landfill. So you're clearing your cupboard, you're helping a charity, and you're improving your carbon footprint. Three things in one. It's fabulous. How can people... Sorry, Lynn, do you want to add something to that? I was going to say we also do, of course, all the general fundraising you would expect from any charity and we also have our own lottery that people can join and subscribe to us, donate to us on a regular basis. So we do, we do three things in, in one to raise the money. So, Can I add that if they want to know any more, please go on our website, uh, all the W's, H-I-O-W-S airambulance.org.uk and uh, all the information's on there um, in the near future. We're just updating it, be patient, but even our, just our contacts are there so you can get in contact and find out how you can help us. We've got some mad fool next year going to parachute, sorry, I do apologise, bungee jump out of a helicopter for us. So many, many things you can help us with, sane and insane. <laughs> Peter, it sounds like you've done the best thing by just giving the cheque, to be honest. It can't tempt you to, to do something equally as daft. I'm not bungee jumping <laughs> for anybody. I'll give you the thousand pound myself first. <laughs> well, that sounds like we've got it on tape. He's going to give you the money not to do that. Peter, Rosemary, Lynn, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much.